In today's tutorial, I'll share with you the best illustrator effects I saw on TikTok and how to actually create them. The first one comes from Sam American Design and the first step is to create a text element that has a white fill. Let's write in Illustrator. For the effect to work, we'll need to change the fill to black and give it a white stroke. Let's move it down and then while holding down the Alt or Option key you can make a duplicate which will be placed on top. Make sure that the top one is all black, then go to Object, Blend and hit the Make option. This already looks pretty cool, but let's go back to the menu and find the Blend Options panel. You can choose Specify Steps from the dropdown and then by scrolling up or down you can control the number of steps you're going to get. The issue is that the bottom element is behind the top one, so to change that double click to enter the group and send it to the front. I didn't know this option existed, but if you're going to create a path using the pen tool, that's the one here on the side and then select both of them by holding down shift you can go to object blend and click on the replace spine option that means that the whole graphic will follow the curve of the path that you just created giving you a lot more room to play with the look of the type and if you want take the direct selection tool to make changes and see how the effect will adjust in real time the second effect comes from Rizvanov and it involves creating a circle with a stroked outline Make sure to open up the panel on the side and use these settings. It's really important to open up the profile dropdown and choose this option. With this selected, go to Effect and then under Distort and Transform, choose the Transform option. Here you have a lot of options, so start playing with the scale values to understand how you can actually affect it. Let's have 80% for these first two, and then scroll inside the Copies value. That will create this cool effect. And if you want to go one step further, rotate the angle dial to get more interesting looks. You can also offset the whole composition horizontally or vertically by dragging these values around. And if you want to do something more extreme, I recommend sliding the horizontal scale to a maximum, giving you a unique effect that you have full control over. The third effect comes from Race Proper, and once you convert the type element to outlines, find the Warp tool inside the side toolbar and that way you can create some pretty interesting looks to your graphics. Double click on the tool in order to make changes to the bra size or even its ratio. I would recommend having an oval shape instead of a perfect circle and start clicking and dragging in order to create a dripping effect. I saw this effect on a t-shirt design and was always wondering how you can create one. So when I saw this effect, I knew it could help me create more interesting typography design. And for the final tip, I'll move this above and make a quick copy using the Alt or Option key. Select both of them and then make a blend between the two elements. Now, I'd like to have a stroked outline version of this below it. So for that, I would need to make a copy by hitting Command C and then paste in front. Double click to enter the group and switch the fill with the stroke for the top and the bottom element. Double click to get out of it and now you can move to the top element which has the stroke apply and move it up or down until you're happy with the 3D look. If you like, you can always make copies and place them in between or just use the blend option to have a 3D effect. Don't forget to like this video if these tips were useful and subscribe for more. See you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye.